I'm Charmin and today I'm going to show you how to make a fish curry. Now there are many different ways to make a fish curry. What we're going to be doing today is a very traditional Bengali fish curry. This is something that my mom would make at least two to three times a week so I grew up eating this. But before we get started I wanted to talk to you about the two main ingredients, the fish and the vegetable. The fish I'm using today is tilapia, but you can also use snapper in this or a buffalo fish, any other kind of fish would work. Just make sure it's not a delicate fish like a cod, which may fall apart in the cooking process. The vegetable I'm using today is seem, which is a very traditional flat green bean from the Southeast Asia, which may be hard to find. The closest thing to that would be um, lima bean, which is very traditional to the Spanish cuisine. Now, if you can't find that either, feel free to use cauliflower or just potatoes. Any other kind of vegetable would work in this. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off by adding some turmeric and salt to the fish. And then I'm going to rub it in until it's very well coated on all sides. I'll squeeze on some lime juice and then set it aside. Now I'm going to add some oil in a shallow pan over medium-high heat. Once it's really hot, it should be smoking. I'm going to very carefully add the fish. I'll let the fish fry undisturbed for about two to three minutes and then very, very carefully flip them over. This is where a nonstick pan really comes in handy. Couple more minutes of frying and then I'm going to remove the fish and put it aside. To the same pan, I'm going to add a little bit more oil and then I'm going to drop in my sliced onions. Toss it around and then I'm going to add my green chili. If you're not using green chili, totally fine, just skip this part. After a couple of minutes, the onion should be nice and translucent and now I'm going to add in my ginger and garlic paste. Give it a good stir and fry until the ginger and garlic is nice and fragrant, about 30 seconds to a minute. Once that's done, I'm going to start adding in all my other spices, starting with some turmeric, and then I'm going to add in some red chili powder. If you don't want it too spicy, you can swap the chili powder with some paprika. And then I'm also going to add some coriander powder. I'm going to add a splash of water to make a nice thick paste. I'll let the spices cook for about two to three minutes or until their raw smell is gone. Some salt to taste, remember, I added salt to the fish already, so this amount is just for the veggies. I'm adding about a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, but you should salt to your taste. After a few minutes, I'll add in my veggies. Remember, you can use any vegetable of your choice. Just make sure everything is the same size and requires the same cooking time. Toss everything together really well until all of the spices are mixed into the vegetables. Turn the heat down to medium low, cover, and cook for about 15 minutes or until the vegetables are just cooked through but not falling apart. And then I'm going to add in my tomatoes.
toss everything to mix and now I'm going to add the fish back to the pan. Oh, and don't forget the drippings from the fish. You don't want to lose all that flavor. I'll carefully add in the rest of the water. It is important to use hot water here, even if it's from the tap, because cold water will slow down the cooking process and we do not want that. Give it a very gentle stir to mix everything. Just make sure to be careful not to bake the fish. And now I'm going to turn up the heat to high and cook for about 12 minutes. Add in some fresh chopped cilantro and turn up the heat. And there you have it. Simple Bengali fish curry.